the difference It gets stupefied Corrupt Tutorials here And I'm gonna show you How to up, uh, Transfer a video from Camtasia Studio 5 And Upload it onto YouTube it, This may work for Camtasia Studio 4 Or 3 or the lower ones But I don't know cause I haven't ever used those This is my first Camtasia Studio So for, let's get started First you're gonna have your video already made, all good to go and stuff, right? Looks good, you like it. And it's already been saved as a project right there. Already been saved right there. This is a regular project. What we need to do now is we're going to go down to produce video as. We're gonna click on that. It should come up to this window and we're not going to choose any of these it's, it won't be under web even though you probably think that because it's going to YouTube you're just going to click custom production settings nothing else just custom production settings then click next it'll probably be on flash already but the only way you can get it on YouTube if you uh, the only way you can get it on YouTube is if you check off the WMV Windows Movie Streaming Video file so you're gonna need to check that off not no other ones just that you don't need to worry about down here and click next it'll it'll put the best quality for Camtasia studio and the best file size and it's just the descriptions and stuff down here uh, how much bit rate and stuff and then we're just gonna click next this you don't want to preset let it already be what it is you it should it will probably be on this right here preset video size or standard video size click on custom size and put it to 640 and 480 and have the maintain aspect ratio checked off don't check anything else off and then you can click next this is if you just want to fill out some information like who's the what's the subject the category and the author information and stuff but I don't need to do any of that stuff it doesn't do anything for YouTube so you don't need to do anything on this page unless you just want to explore it but don't click on anything or check off anything and then click next and this will just show you what it's called you can rename it but I don't want to mess around with this, so I just keep it what it is. And then you click next. It'll show what it's going to be saved as. And where it'll be saved, right there. In my videos, or wherever you want it saved. Uh, you can name it whatever you want. And uh, everything else is checked off to what you need. And then you just need to click finish. and it's gonna start rendering your project file this will take I'd say 15 minutes to render right now because I'm recording it's gonna take quite a while but um, it should take 15 minutes to render and I'll stop it I'll start it once it's done alright so we're back and we're almost done and as soon as I start recording again, it stops. There we go. It's moving slowly. Alright, so just wait a minute. There we go. Alright, 99.9. .9. Alright, 100%. And it's going to come back up to um, Camtasia. And it'll open up a new little window. Just showing what the size of it was uh... how long it was what it was saved as and what else is on down here and what size it was like for the screen uh... you're just gonna click finish unless you want to explore it but just click finish and that's all for the saving part now you need to upload it to youtube so we're gonna minimize Camtasia and go to YouTube
Alright. So go to your YouTube and just go to the home page, right? Regular YouTube. You should already have an account if you're going to make make upload your video. If not, then you can just clinically sign up for one. But I'm already signed in, so I'll click upload. And you're just gonna add whatever title you need, uh, whatever description, and whatever certain tags, like whatever how you want to describe it, kind of like what tag you want to be under, what category. It may come up to suggested tags that you want to add. Um, you can add whatever you how you, how you want it, your video to be found through certain different tags. Um, this stuff right here, broadcast options and date and map options, sharing options, just talks about the comments being on or off. Uh, if you want this to be public or private to only your friends, and if you have to be in a certain location to watch it. But I just leave them how they are because they, they're the way I like it, and most people just leave them. Then click upload a video, and it'll come up to this place, this screen, where you're going to click browse to come and find your video. So I'm going to go to where I know I saved it, which is first I go to my documents, and then I'm going to go to my computer stuff, my little folder I made, and I'm going to go to my videos. And it should be a folder option right here. It'll show a registry clean that's what I saved it as and you double click on that and it will come up to um this right here uh -huh. a Windows Movie Maker file a uh, Windows Media audio video file so it's great for YouTube it's able to upload and double click on that it's right there it says WMV what you need right there that's a WMV and all, you're all good from here Click upload and you're done. Alright, thanks for watching. If you want to see more video uh, tutorials, please subscribe. And if you have a question you don't know how to do something, then just send me a message saying what you don't know how to do and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can and try to make a tutorial on it for you. Alright, thanks.